Pneumonia kills more children than measles, malaria and HIV combined. Ninety-eight percent of those die in developing countries as opposed to the developed world. In terms of diagnosing these diseases, there is a profound shortage of trained physicians in the developing world. The cost of treating pneumonia is very, very low. The common drugs that we use, benzyl penicillin, is about 25 cents a vial. But the real problem is, you can ship all the stethoscopes in the world to people who need it, but unless the health worker can understand how to use the stethoscope, they're not going to be able to determine which kit to give the antibiotics and which kit not to give the antibiotics. So the dream really is enabling health workers in the developing world to diagnose a pneumonia with minimal training so that children can be treated early and thereby reducing the mortality rate. We thought that it wouldn't be great if we could make a stethoscope that could plug into a smartphone. It was a wild crazy idea, can you actually embed a microphone in a stethoscope to then process those sound files to come up with a respiratory rate. And so we built our first prototype. We ripped apart the stethoscope, we had to grab a chopstick while pushing the microphone inside and the moment of truth was when we plugged it into the computer and took a recording, we knew that we had something on our hands when it worked. So what we've created is a low-cost digital stethoscope attachment for smartphones to return a diagnosis and treatment plan for pneumonia and as a doctor would. The goal is to have the device as ubiquitous as a thermometer and to be present in every family's medicine cabinet. Stethic Cloud came from our own funds and our own efforts. Whatever time we can scrape from you know, our schedule, we poured into this project. What we need to do is try different and innovative strategies to see if that has a greater impact. That's where this fusion of technology and medicine I hope will one day play out.